Hello, let's talk volume. I brought along with me something you might recognize. You might call it a pot. You might call it a container. Or you might even just call it the system. It's what we're interested in. So that's why I'm going to call it the system. But to make it very concrete, it's going to be a pot. Okay, so how does it work when we're talking about volume? Well, inside here, volume is a pretty straightforward concept. Uh, I think we really have that as innate human beings. We know about volume. We have a sense of volume. It should be the amount of space inside this pot, where the pot is our system or container. And that should be our volume. Now, how should we quantify volume? How should we approach that? Uh, that's a non-unique question. Um, the unique question is there's certain space in here. That's what nature provides to us. But how should we quantify volume? How should we think about it? Um, I have here a mug. It's full of water. I can define the mug as my unit of measure. In that case, I could pour in one mug. I could pour in two mugs. I could pour in three mugs. After three mugs, the volume of the pot is full to the brim. And so then I would say the volume of this pot is three mugs. Now, it can be a little bit more complicated than that. Nature, of course, is simple. There's a certain amount of volume in this container, period. But then humans come along and we make it complicated. It's not that nature's complicated, it's that humans are complicated. So, if, for example, I introduced to you the mug. There were three mugs of water. Well, other folks like to count in liters, some folks like cubic meters, some folks like quarts, some folks uh, like cubic feet, uh, and there are many other units of volume. Now, that's humans coming to you and saying the volume is and giving you a certain language. I gave you mugs today. But of course, nature behaves the same way. There's a fixed volume in here, uh, regardless of how I label it as liters, cubic meters, or other types of units. Some of the common units of measure that you might encounter are on uh, this page, starting, of course, with uh, the liter and the uh, cubic meter. Um, you might also encounter, for example, uh, um, a gallon. Um, you might encounter a pint, a cubic inch. Um, you might encounter a barrel. And so these are all showing the uh, conversion uh, uh, factors um, that lead into cubic meter, which we'll write this way, or liter, which we'll write this way. And all of these, of course, uh, regardless of what you call them, a barrel, a gallon, a pint, a cubic meter, they are all uh, represented by uh, uh, V, volume, uh, which is uh, the volume inside here, and the volume is fixed by nature whether we humans label it as liters, cubic meters, or other types of units. Now, um, again, the volume here is fixed inside the pot. But humans, of course, are very creative, whereas nature has one uh, un, uh, 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 unchanged volume. Humans are very creative. Uh, you've got things you might know about, like gallons, things you might have heard about, like pecs. Maybe you've heard about quarts. Um, again, we only have the letters here of A, B, uh, G, P, R. But overall, Wikipedia, for example, has 127. And there are some interesting things on here, um, like a hecat, for example, which we'll look at in more detail, or a hopus or a fingertip unit, um, or an acre foot. There are many other ways that humans have invented, 127 illustrated here, to talk about volume. But all of those, of course, in the end, don't change the volume or pot, um, which is a fixed quantity from uh, nature. So just as an example, the Hecate, um, ancient Egyptian unit, um, and it would be 4.8 liters. So if one has 4.8 liters, one has a hecat. So if our pot is something like a liter, then it would be uh, 1 divided by 4.8, which is about 0 0.2, 0 0.2 hecats. Now, the uh, unit that we use most often, of course, is a milliliter, depending on the 
topic that you're working on. You might be using cubic meters or liters, but of course a milliliter is quite common. So just to give you a, a sense, 100 milliliters uh, is shown here. You get the size of the container that's 100 milliliters. Um, my mug unit, well, that might have been about 250 milliliters. And of course, here's the uh, scale. So uh, uh, 100 milliliters. And then just uh, kind of everyday volumes, things you might uh, run into. If you had a, a nice uh, meal, um, you might have four liters okay, uh, in your stomach. Um, if you were to uh, look at the pipes in your body and say how much blood is going around through my, uh, my pipes from my heart, out to my limbs and back again, uh, yeah, about five liters of liquid, liquid blood. Gives you a reference point if you donate blood to how much of your blood you've uh, uh, donated. Um, if you like to take a bath, well, it's about 235 liters. Okay, you can use that to uh, scale it. Presumably you don't fill your bathtub all the way. You can scale it to what size uh, water heater you might want to have in the basement. Or you can ask yourself, uh, if you get a water bill, um, uh, uh, how much uh, money that water costs me to fill up my bath. And if you like to go through a swim, a mega liter, 10 to the 6 liters, a mega liter, Olympic swimming pool. Um, you could use that if you had to clean it uh, with chlorine. You could use that to estimate how much chlorine you need to uh, buy if you knew the concentration that was needed in the water. Um, if you have a bad habit like I do, uh, soda pop, um, then uh, you get a sense of uh, 355 uh, milliliters. Um, if you go from empty to uh, bloated, well, you've gone from about 80 milliliters or 0 0. Uh, uh, 0.08 liters up to about 4 liters. So you get a sense in, of the change there. Uh, if you use eye drops, uh, in your cupboard, 15 uh, milliliters. So it gives you a sense of uh, how to think about. Let's just do a little example now where we convert a liter into a cubic meter to show how humans can make things complicated, requiring calculations, but keeping in mind that the actual quantity, the space inside uh, the container or the system or the pot in this case, does not change. Volume is often expressed in liters. In standard units, we would like that to be cubic meters. A example illustration of unit conversion is as follows. One liter is the same as 1,000 milliliters, and a milliliter is a cubic centimeter And a centimeter is 10 to the negative 2 of a meter. <laughs> of a meter. And if we multiply those out, we have a thousand, which is 10 to the three. We have 10 to the negative two raised to the third power, 10 to the negative six cubic meter, 10 to the negative three cubic meters. So a liter is the same as 10 to the negative three cubic meters. Alexa, what is one liter in cubic meters? One liter is 0 0.001 cubic meters. Some typical volumes we might be interested in. We might ask, what's the volume of a piston in a cylinder? Think of the internal combustion engine. Uh, think of uh, a V8 or a V12 uh, engine, a big one. We might ask the volume of each of those uh, uh, cylinders with the piston going up and down. Uh, we might ask the volume of a refrigerator. Uh, we might ask the volume of a liquid and a, and a beaker and a chemical reaction. Um, or we can just be looking around at life and asking the question, what's the volume of my living room? I'm interested in uh, thinking about the heat transfer and keeping my living room at a certain temperature. What's the volume of my living room? 
I can go to a higher scale than that. What's the volume of my house if I was doing an energy analysis on it? Um, I can look around, I guess, what's the volume of my body? I'm interested in my body as a thermodynamic system. Um, anywhere I look around and I define a boundary, I can ask, what's a volume? Look around yourself right now. Identify three objects or three things that you could look and say, that's my system, and I have a, a boundary around it. Everything else is the surroundings of the rest of the universe. And say, what is the volume of that? What do you see just looking around where you are right now with your thermodynamic x-ray glasses on? Acabou.